Hi everybody! In my last video I was showing you my grand pug, but the, for the last 13 days, or the 13 days of this, the span of this video, I was babysitting, you might say house-sitting, my daughter's animals. Four horses, a dog, two cats, two reptiles, and a fish. And her three kids on the weekends. <laughs> Yes, that was quite a trip. So I did sleep in her house for those 13 days. But um, I'm also showing my move back into my big blue van and a little bits and pieces of safari. Uh, and there's some news about safari as well. You'll see in the video. And yeah, and little bits and pieces of showing some things about how it is for me in my van and how specifically things I haven't shown you before on any van tour. So enjoy this video and take care and if you haven't subscribed yet please do. It all helps my channel and thank you for the subscribers that have come recently. So that's great. Thank you. And if you want notification of any time I upload a video just hit that little bell beside the subscribe button. That way you'll get an email every time I upload a video. Okay, enjoy. See you there. Danny. Hey, you're such a nice dog. She's eager to go. Doesn't want to stop. Okay, we'll go. Beautiful sound of the forest, mainly silence. Penny! Good dog, you're so wonderful. The best dog in the world. Here's Sammy. Ooh, on my chest. Out, 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 out. Are you a little bit jealous? I think you got some jealousy going on here. So I've got the kitty on my lap. I think you got jealous. Oh no. Oh no. I love you too. It's nice having all three animals with me tonight. We'll see if they stay. We'll see if I can breathe. I might get all stuffy from all the animal fur and hair. Yeah. I'm considering buying a harness <laughs> and trying it on these cats. I don't know if they would let me. But I might give it a try. Maybe learn how to put on a harness before I actually go to a animal shelter and check them out. This here is Wise Claw. Sunning himself. He is a bearded dragon. Right now, he was scrambling to get out of his cage there, and he just loves the sun. He's just totally flattened out his body. That's the most activity I've gotten out of this guy, Earl. I'm talking inside the terrarium, that's why I'm so echoey. What do you think, Miss Squish? Hmm? And the other critter is the fish. Penny is a Belgian... <laughs> a Belgian shepherd. It has a specific name which I don't remember. Oh, yeah. 
What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Yeah? Yeah? What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. Penny was so afraid of the fireworks at Halloween. She was just shaking. Where's the fourth one? Down there somewhere. Wise Claw? Oh, are you wanting back in now? Do you want back in? All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's put you back in. Okay. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you get it? Oh, you okay. Let me help you. There you go. I think she's very wise little reptile, aren't you? You know when you want it to go back under the heat lamp. It's been quite a interesting thing taking care of all these animals. The horses mainly took care of themselves. It was only yesterday we started feeding them flakes of hay. Before that, they had two big round bales, which they gorged on. Nice place to be on the 25-acre farm. Going for lots of walks. There's a park nearby. Went for a walk with the kids yesterday. I've gone for a few walks by myself with the dog. Walked around this place a few times too, actually, when I've been too lazy to go out. All right, here's Safari. There's the winter home for Safari. I'll be taking her out today. And by the way, maybe this is the time to tell you all I'm calling Safari Hazel. Thank you, Corrine, for that suggestion. It just seems the right fit for the, the car, my summer home. I've got lots of plans for a little upgrade since I took it out last summer. Last summer was a little bit rushed, trying to get it on the road so quickly. There's Hazel. I have to get used to calling her Safari. Or, ah, Hazel. Hazel, Hazel. That look like a hazel to you? I think it does. From this point on, I'm going to really, really try to refer to that, my summer home, as hazel. If you catch me calling it S-A-F-A-R-I, correct me. <laughs> There's the house up there. There's Big Blue. Here's the pond. So nice. They even have a zip line. I don't know if you can see it on there or not. Tegan gets back on Wednesday. Hopefully I can get back into Big Blue. I miss my home. And when I see Safari, I miss my summer travels. And it's November 2nd today. Got a few months. But it'll be fun doing the little upgrades in the spring, maybe in March or even February if it's nice. Happy horses. And I just fed the horses. I've been out in the rain, so I'm a bit damp on the head. <laughs> I'm gonna try some different kind of dry air dry, I think it's called, from Amazon. I haven't found any in town here, but it's the kind that, it's all one piece. The, the beads are up on top and the bag is at the bottom that the water drips into. And Slim Potato Head did a review on them. And he compared the canister one to the drip one. 
Same brand, same everything, and the drip one outperformed the canister one. And they're quite expensive, but I'm going to do it. I have to keep Hazel slash Safari dry for the winter. Here's horses attempting to stay dry. Woke up so beautifully warm this morning and it just turned around on us. It's not that cold, but it certainly is wet. It's been great, but I prefer living in my van. Been here for, it'll be tomorrow, will be 13 days. And I prefer to be around in a boat rather than in sticks and bricks. So I am moving back into Big Blue. My daughter's on the airplane. And today is the day I get back to my blue home. shoes off. It's kind of wet out there. I don't want to drag it into my home. All right, let's make this bed. You can jump in. Come on. Good doggy. Pretty big van dog, right? <laughs> Oops. I think you're in the way, aren't you? Get used to a tight space again. Used to living in a large house for two, 13 days. Right, um, Penny dog? Come on. You stay put. There. All right. First of all, what I did is I took off my, where are you? Hi. I took my memory foam off my bed and put it into the bed at Tegan's house. Now I have to put it back on. And because I like to sleep with my legs up, a, well, actually my knees up a little bit, this foamy goes underneath there. Now this, my latest addition onto my bed to make it more comfortable, which I'm very happy for. First, the the wool blanket, so I'm not sleeping right against the foam. I don't sweat when I'm sleeping in my wool quilt or with wool underneath me. I'm always warm but not sweaty. Oh, I found my sock. <laughs> and I'm going to put on my flannel sheet. My first time since I took it off in the springtime. It gives me quite a bit of warmth. Speaking of winter, I am getting a diesel heater. It's ordered off Amazon. It's a Chinese diesel heater. And John, our Shamanist guy, is going to install it. So you'll see some of that. I don't know how much, but I'm looking forward to dry heat in this very wet. Since I've been in this house for two weeks, and it, we've had some sunny days and while well, we're here, but lots of rainy too. Even sunny days are still damp. A lot of humidity, but it's really damp in my van. I've taken it out a few times with the heat on into town. But it's really, really damp in here. It's just very clammy. So it's going to take a bit to dry it out again. My pillows are still in the house, but the hardest part of the bed making is done. Let's find my spare sock. Got a pair. In fact, I'm going to put them on. I never changed my socks today. Jump up. Come in. Come here. Oh, good girl. Nice girl. Yes. I'm going to miss Penny. She was a good companion. But I also realized 
that I don't know if I even want an animal. I love cats. I love dogs, but there's, it's constant. Just constant. And I don't know if I want constant. So at the moment, I'm even questioning of being a cat. <sighs> so I'm not going to buy one or get one or not until I really, really know for sure. Because once I got an animal, I'm committed. Oh, darn. I wore my clean shoes outside. Oh, I don't want that. These are gardening shoes. Perfect for van life. Slip on. Waterproof up to that point anyway. All right. Another load to take out to the van. Oh. A pillow. Accumulated laundry. Moving houses. Not easy with stuff. These are my frozen water bottles. Just the hand-sized ones that I put in my cooler to keep my stuff cold. And I've been freezing other foods in my daughter's freezer. And now this is all going back in. Here it is. I laid... This side, I just lay them down. I have 10 bottles I'm putting in. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I had. Holy moly, look at all the food. Nice. All kinds of keep me going. Oh, there you girl. There you are, girl. <laughs> but all this food that I forgot I had. Wow, that's awesome. And this thing fits right on top. In fact, there's a bit of room still. So that keeps the frozen stuff there and my refrigerated stuff I put on this side which I have to go and get. I have a little bit of veggies and stuff to put in here. Yes, Penny. Yes, girl. This bag's a bit wet. Oh, I have to put my chlorophyll back in. Okay, well, let's go get some veggies. <sighs> Look at Penny. Pretty big van dog. Oops, she can't even turn around. Oh, you have to back out. You have to back out. Good girl. You gonna jump out? You gonna jump out? She's ridden in my car several, or in my van several times. You're pretty big. Oh, she's gonna get my seat all dirty. Hey, Penny. <laughs> You're a pretty big van dog. Aw. Don't worry. Your mama's coming home. You'll be well taken care of. Yes, you will, beautiful dog. So, I've got more fridge stuff. It's not all fridge stuff. Some of it doesn't go in the fridge. But you'd be surprised how much actually fits in. Okay. Light on. Open this up. I have a string that holds it open. refrigerated food goes in here I'm gonna put the cabbage in here we'll see as I cut it up I generally put it in the fridge anyway my eggs go in here Though, so, there is a possibility that that will become the home of my diesel heater, but I still have to talk to John about that. All 
right. I wanted to show you something. My uh, top of my cooler, I, underneath in the bottom of the box here, way at the bottom. Here, let's get this out of the way. This doesn't belong to me. I'm just borrowing it. And Penny, you're such a big dog in the van. You're such a big dog. Look at you. <laughs> hey, girl. You're so nice. And I wanted to show you. In the bottom of my cooler box, I have, I think I have a layer of Reflectix and a, maybe even two layers of wool blankets. Behind it, I have all my plastic bags stuffed. So I think that's insulating. But on top, I put, actually, I used to put a wool blanket, but I'm trying without. I have a, this, oh, I have a, some rugs that I bought initially when I first moved into the van that aren't actually working for the van but they work very very well for uh insulating <laughs> she has to back out she's too big <laughs> anyway I wanted to show you there's my cooler it's gonna stay stay put so put this on there put this on there on that Get it all situated again. Penny, you're so big, girl. You're so big. You're wondering what's going on, aren't you? Well, who am I talking to, she says. Who am I talking to? Am I talking to you? Sometimes I do. And I put this in the front. I think I have it backwards. Let's go this way. Because this side is a little bit more precarious over here. Or getting in there. I'm hoping it helps to cover up this, this lip here. I don't know. Let's hope. So that's there. Another rug on top of there. Like I said, I got all these rugs when I first moved into the van. All my boho rugs that didn't work on the floor, but work very well as an insulator on my cooler. Hey. My animal child responsibilities are done. Now I'm back in big blue. And I have to get it run in to get it nice and hot, get it dried out in here. And um, what time is it? probably about almost four o'clock in the afternoon so basically I'm going to go and find my night place for tonight I like to let the motor run for a bit I was told by my mechanic it's a good idea to let it run for a minute or two just to get all the juices flowing. I do have to go through a gate so I do have to stop at a gate so maybe I'll just go and do that. are kind of shaky. I forgot to put my table away so it's rattling my table.
navigate. My seatbelt is a two-handed thing on this old vehicle. Yeah, I've got lots of food. I have water.
troubles in her. And even if I ever make it, if we could ever get across the border to the States, it'd be nice to make some trips.